page 135 the little bully do you know of any child who teases others or pushes them around what would you call such a child read this story and see how hurry a little boy troubles other children once upon a time not so very long ago there was a small boy called hurry although he wasn't very big he was strong and he loved to tease all the boys and girls who went to school with him what he loved to do most was to pinch he could make a big bruise appear in half a second another trick he played was pricking people with a pin so you can guess how all the children hated him they tried pinching him back but that was no good because he could always pinch harder they didn't like telling their teacher because that was telling tales it so happened that the class went for a picnic to the seaside for a whole day all the children were most excited page 136 on that day the sun shone bright and all the children were wild with excitement they crowded into the train and sat down but nobody wanted to sit next to hurry because he always pinched when they arrived at the seaside out jumped all the children with a shout of joy down to the sands they raced hand in hand but nobody took hurry's hand nobody went near him hurry was angry he went to a sandy corner near a rocky pool and sat down by himself he took out his lunch and looked at it it was a good lunch there were two hard boiled eggs six jam sandwiches three pieces of bread and butter a ginger cake and a bar of chocolate he would eat it all by himself he wouldn't offer anything to anyone page 137 just as he was beginning on the eggs he heard a hoarse voice near him good morning i am so pleased to meet a boy like you hurry turned around and stared in fright whatever do you think he saw hurry saw a monster crab walking sideways out of the pool his eyes were on the ends of short stalks and he looked most queer he held out his front claw to hurry hurry put out his hand to shake the crab's claw but to his surprise and anger the crab opened his pincers and nipped his hand so hard that the little boy yelled ah here is my good cousin said the crab pleasantly and to hurry's horror He saw a large sandy lobster crawling heavily out of the pool. Before the little boy could stop him, the lobster took his hand in his great pincer-like claws and pinched it so hard that Hurry yelled in pain. Page one hundred thirty-eight. Then he stared at the pool in surprise, for. out came sandy colored shrimps and prawns more crabs and another large lobster and they pricked hurry till he was soon black and blue with their pinching don't you like it said all the creatures in surprise why we were told you would love to see us because you were a champion pincher and pricker yourself come 
Come, join in the fun. Hari leapt to his feet, crying loudly. His lunch rolled into the pool, and when the crabs and lobsters saw it, they ran to it and began to feast eagerly. Hari saw that they had forgotten him for a time, and he turned and ran for his life, tears streaming down his cheeks. <laughs> They only did to me what I keep doing to the other children. He thought. But how it hurt, and and how I hated those crabs and lobsters. I suppose the other children hate me too. Well, I jolly well shan't pinch. Or break any more. <laughs> A story by Annette Blitton, adapted. Page one hundred thirty-nine. New words: bruise, injury by blow to body; horrid, terrible; hoarse, rough and deep sounding; pincer, gripping tool; stalk. Main stem, nipped, pinched. Reading is fun. Now that you have read and understood the lesson, can you answer these questions? You can put a tick mark on the right answer. One, why did all the children hate Harry? One, because he would not talk to anyone. Two, because he always pinched them. Three, because he loved stealing their food. Two, nobody took Hari's hand. Nobody went near him. Nobody played with him. This shows that Hari had one, many friends. Two, few friends. Three, no friends. Three, which of the following actions would make a friendly person? Write them down: respecting other people, eating a small child's tiffin. Page one hundred forty. Calling people rude names, pushing a smaller boy and making him cry, being helpful to everyone, helping your classmates in school, mocking at friends. And hurting their feelings, protecting a weaker person. Actions which would make a friendly person. Write in the space provided below. Vocabulary. One, find out words which are opposites or are closest to being the opposites of the words given below. Then write down the opposites in the grid. Down. One, smile. Two, happy. Four, strong. Across. Three, quiet. Five, punish. Page one hundred forty-one. Two, Harry was pinched till he was black and blue. Black and blue means one. Harry fell down in pain. Two, there were bruises on his body. Three, Harry painted himself in colors. Four, Harry had a black and blue shirt. Three, I shan't pinch anyone any more. Shan't means one, shall, two, should, three, shall not, four, will not. Four, give the full forms of, won't, blank, weren't, blank, wouldn't, blank, couldn't, blank. Five, a girl was sitting quietly beside him. Hari leapt to his feet, crying loudly. The words quietly and loudly tell us how an action is being done. 
find five more words ending in ly, which denote how something is done. The space has been provided for your answers. Page 142 Add ly to the following words. Clear, merry, weary, double, dreary, bright, bad, fond. Now, can you make sentences with these words? Please write in the space provided below. Fun with sounds. 1. Let's practice with P and F. Pleased, pricked, pinched, punished. Fat, fruit, fell, forgotten. Palm, pear, proud, parade. Farm, fair, frown, fish. 2. Complete the blanks with rhyming words of the following and practice aloud. One is being done for you. Bruise. The rhyming word starts with C. It's cruise. Carriage. The rhyming word starts with M. Prawn. The rhyming word starts with D. Creatures. The rhyming word starts with F E. Teachers. The rhyming word for it starts with P R. Wowed. The rhyming word starts with C. Page 143. Let's practice some writing. 1. How did the seaside creatures, the crab, the lobster, etc., teach Hari a lesson? Write in a few lines. Space has been provided for your answer. 2. Read these sentences carefully. I ate an apple. A boy is standing under the tree. The sun rises in the east. A and Anne do not point out any definite or particular person or thing, whereas the is used when we speak of some particular person or thing. A, Anne and the are called articles. Remember, Anne is used before words beginning with a vowel. A, E, I, O, U. Now, fill in the blanks with appropriate articles. 1. Hari was blank, unpopular boy. 2. The boys and girls went to blank, seaside for a picnic. 3. He saw blank, big crab coming towards him. 4. I found blank, empty bottle floating in the water. 5. Blank, sea creatures ate his food. Page 144 3. A crab has a hard shell, whereas a frog does not have one. There are many animals that protect themselves from their enemies with their outer cover or shells or quills. In the box given below are the names of some animals. Encircle the ones that can protect themselves with their hard cover. Crocodile, snail, lizard, snake, turtle, tortoise, gorilla, frog, hedgehog, porcupine. Now, paste or draw the picture of any one animal. Write five lines about it. Space has been provided for the picture and your answer. Page 145 4. Can you tell the difference between a turtle and a tortoise? 
write a few lines the space has been provided below 5 describe what is happening in the picture use is or are and ing to make your sentences clues are given in the box swing sit climb lick slid kick page 146 for example krishna is swinging 1 mary blank up the slide 2 hurry blank and boxing her 3 little bit to blank a lollipop 4 rita blank down the slide imagine what the children will do in the playground tomorrow you can take some hints from the words given in the box for example john will play kabaddi tomorrow the words are play football jump race badminton run let's be creative and talk work in groups of 4 see the picture of a shipwreck at the bottom of the ocean suppose you went deep sea diving what would you find think of all the words that come to your mind then build a paragraph share your story with other groups